and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Here at Crooked House Gaming, we like to explore the gameplay of simulation games usually through a series of Let's Plays. If this sounds like something that you're interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any future episodes. Today, we're going to continue to explore the gameplay of The Tenant. So let's dive in. Our present personal cash is $197,808. It is not enough to participate in any of the auctions that are going on the lowest priced auction that is going on right now is two hundred thousand five hundred dollars in order for us to participate in an auction we are going to need to get our personal cash up so let us find a job we have a feature where we can decline jobs in our phone app so i'm doing that right now to see what jobs i want to focus on i think we're going to try a puzzle job we have not tried a puzzle job yet isabel phillips at masonic hill road 16 we ordered new servers for our our building we just need to put them in a room anyone willing to help require create a server room a budget $21,500 focus on the walls and the prestige they don't mind the first impression as I said this is a puzzle job that means we're gonna have to fit a lot of things in a tight area the payment for this job will be $12,450 let's accept the job and head on over to Masonic Hill Road 16 here we are at Masonic Hill Road 16 let us begin the renovation which room are we working in look how tiny that is how will we get we're gonna have to fit all this stuff in so this is what they mean by a puzzle job you have a very tiny space to fit all the things in here this is going to be a server room they want us to focus on modern they don't like classical they want us to finish the floors in a stone we're gonna do this a basic stone floor they want us to finish the walls in a green we're gonna use this field green as it is a modern green and they want us to focus on the walls they want us to fit three server towers in here i'll put one there i'll put one here and i will put one here we need a monitoring screen we need two of those how big is that oh that's huge these are much smaller but they are going to eat up a lot of cash let's try to get the desk and the pc in here we want modern simple desk i don't think i'm going to be able to do that this is what they're talking about that it's tight can we get the, is this desk smaller no desk is about the same size we're gonna move the towers over here as i said this is a puzzle job we're trying to get lots of things in a tight tight space right so we we're able to get that like that is that what the door is that is where the door is i'm going to put one right there monitoring screens now these monitoring screens are quite large put one there let's see if we can get a desk in here maybe right there let's move this over a little bit we also have negotiations at candy road we will have five days left to do that i'm going to see if i can fit this monitoring station behind this desk i have no idea how these people are going to move in this room but that's not my concern my concern is to fit all of the things in the room what does this say something is blocking the path to this item well they also want a pc so let's try to get a pc in here we'll do this one right here but let's get that last monitoring screen in here look that worked let's try to get a, a desk chair in here a modern one would be great does that block anything yep that's yelling that something's blocking it let's remove this desk over slightly yeah you're complaining what are you complaining about i put you there nothing is blocking your path darling we'll move the server right there we'll move this over here nope that didn't work we're gonna move this yeah they don't seem to have a problem being that tight the monitoring screen is what we're having a problem with it's just like no the monitoring screen yep that's fine try to fit this desk here yeah it's not yelling at me we're gonna try to fit another monitoring screen right here it is not yelling at me we are gonna try to put a desk chair in here we're gonna use this modern business desk chair right there are you screaming at me nobody's screaming at me we're gonna try to get a pc in here we still have to put in electricity we'll put that right there nothing is yelling at me at all and now we have to put in the utility well steve is coming in and he's putting in electricity it covers everything in the room except for that one we will put this electric plug right over here it covers the rest of the room only two dollars whatever the installation fee is we're gonna send uncle steve on out we have met all of the requirements the server room is an a out of an a let us deliver the job here here comes the person who hired us and they're looking at the desk chair and they love this desk chair they're looking at the servers that are jammed in a corner they love how we jam those servers in a corner they're looking at the monitoring system and they cannot believe we fit it into this tiny little space they're looking at the design of this crammed little server room and they are just astounded and they love it we are going to go over and do our negotiation at candy road here we are at candy road to do the negotiation we're going to collect our tenant heart what is 
is he presently paying? Robert Bruce is presently paying $2,540. We could just extend that. We could try to get a higher rent on him. Let us try that. Let us do a negotiate a lease extension for 120 days. We're going to try to get $3,890 out of Robert Bruce. Let us make an offer. Robert Bruce says, no way I'm going to pay this. A $2,540. $40. I will lower my current offer slightly to $3,790. I'll make that offer. And he says, worst deal ever, $2,540. He is trying to stick to the current rent. I will say $3,670. I will make that offer. He says, is this the best you can do? $2,760. I will lower it slightly to $3,530. I'll make that offer. And he says, $2,930. So we were able to get a rent increase out of Robert Bruce. We're going to accept his current offer. And while we were trying to negotiate, Jenna Hudson sent us a message and it says, What's up, bro? Would be pretty cool if we could run some renovation work on this crib. What do you say? Did you really think you could get away with such a poor garden design? Yeah, sure, we'll do it. We're going to go over to Oral Lake Road and do some garden work. After we check our review, Isabel Phillips, Masonic Hill road 16 gave us five stars it's better than i could have imagined it's like smitty replaced the door with a portal to a different world astonishing here's a tip for good work required furnishing five stars preferred furnishing five stars floors five stars walls five stars prestige five stars first impression five stars we were able to jam all that stuff in the server room and she gave us a bonus of two thousand four hundred and ninety dollars for a total payout of fourteen thousand nine hundred and forty dollars which we are probably going to spend on this garden. Let's go on over to Oral Road 435 to renovate our poor garden design. Let's begin the renovation of the garden design she didn't like. We do it in the back. We need a bench. We need garden decor. We need a garden armchair. We need a swimming pool. We're going to try to fit all this stuff in here. She wants a swimming pool. She wants a garden hose. Put the garden hose over here. She wants a grill. We'll move the grill over here. We'll put the lawnmower in the corner. We need some benches. We'll give her a base bench near the swimming pool. We'll do another basic bench over here. I'm gonna move the grill right there. That way all the smoke goes into the house. Well, we're gonna get rid of these benches. We need some garden plants. We'll do some cottage daisies near the door. We will put a bench in here. We'll make it a white bench. We'll put it over here near the daisies. We'll move the grill right there. We're gonna move this garden bench right there. That person can sit and talk to that person. We need garden garden gnomes. Here, we'll put one in the corner right over here. And we need a pole garden gnome. We'll put them right next to him. They can have a conversation about how tight this little garden is. We only need one garden plant. Well, we're going to move that garden plant over here near the garden gnomes. We need some garden decorations. We're going to put this wind chime right over the garden hose. We need one garden armchair. So we'll put a garden armchair right there. We need another garden decoration. And I'll put another wind chime right there. And you know, Know what i'm gonna be generous and give them another plant we'll give them that daisy near the door where i wanted to give them a daisy we can give them another daisy over here and we can give them some posh plants over here they need water we need to do a water hookup uncle steve's coming on in and putting in some water for the garden hose so we're gonna send uncle steve on out jenna hudson says thank you loving the changes she's really happy with us we got plus two smitty heads we have two hundred and nine thousand four hundred and fourteen of our personal cash. We lost some money renovating her things, but let's see if there's any auctions that we could participate in. There is an auction that we could participate over here at Oral Lake Road. That's the only one we could participate in. Let's join the Oral Lake Road auction. I'm gonna send Uncle Steve on in. He needs to evaluate. Evaluate that, Uncle Steve. So Uncle Steve is looking at the painting. He loves that. I'm gonna have him evaluate this chair. Yeah, he loves this. We just renovated this. It was a library. Come on over here and look at this tree. He's at 50% to evaluate this place. He doesn't like the tree either. Uncle Steve is looking at the rug. The approximated value at 2014 and we don't have that kind of money. Come over here, Uncle Steve.
Congratulations, looks like you really got the hang of this now. This place is looking really nice. Congratulations. Robert Bruce says, hey you, believe it or not, but I got a bunch of roaches roaming around the apartment. What the heck? I could really use some assistance, boss. These ones look quite nasty. We had to wait till we were finished with the auction because they wanted us to send in a pro for $1,750, but I didn't want to spend our personal cash because we were in the process of an auction. Let's send our uncle in right away to Candy Road. He's going to come over here and he's going to spray some poisonous cloud around. If Robert Bruce has been having a lot of dirty dates with uh, pizza boxes and such, so I think that's why we have roaches right now. He is not the cleanest. We're going to send Uncle Steve on out because it was a success. And Robert Bruce says, thanks for helping me solve this problem. Complete these goals to get a reward. You'll be able to choose another goal upon completion. One at a time, buy an apartment. So we're going to claim that reward. Congratulations, you have completed this goal. We get a free item. I can't even see the free item. Choose one of these cards for your next goal. Renovator, complete 10 renovation jobs. Getting too old for this, solve 10 apartment events with Uncle Steve. Big strokes. Sign in an artist for your own property. I'm gonna do Renovator. We're gonna finish that one. Evil Presence, perform 5 sabotage on tenants. Geek, reach 1000 score when playing with a gamer. Scavenger, store 10 furniture pieces in your player's storage. Real Santa, send 15 gifts to tenants. Art appreciator, place 10 or or more paintings in one interior room. Renovator. Complete 10 renovator jobs. This is a new feature. This is pretty interesting. We have bought a new property in the suburb. Right now we are not renting it out and we are losing $1,037. Let us put this on auto pay. There's no bedrooms in here so we cannot rent this out because this was an apartment that was converted to a library in one of our previous episodes. I am not going to do any renovation work on this quite yet. I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for stopping by our crooked house if you like what you saw be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow smitty on his journey to create his landlord empire it really helps us out have a great week see you soon